There are five main opportunities within purchase services spend for cost savings. And we'll briefly go over each of them. Uh, one is, and I speak about this often, it's the line item details on your invoices. Though that area is so important because you can't benchmark or understand your pricing just from your contract. You need to go back to those invoice line item details and you need to do it uh, from a 12 month historical perspective. So you're gonna see things like, uh, you know, pricing errors or variation changes. Um, you're gonna see details that matter for cost savings. So number one, it's the line item details. It's number two, it's really understanding your agreement. I, I have seen over the years one or two sentences that have made a enormous financial change or impact uh, into an RFP or a renegotiation or even just an escalator. And so understanding your contract terms in depth, really taking time, focus time to understand your agreement, because these agreements are so complex. So really getting into, uh, yes, the weeds into your agreements is so important. You're gonna find nuances, you're gonna find opportunities for cost savings, but the time spent is worth it. Number three, it's getting accurate benchmarking, accurate understanding of the competitive marketplace. And you may need to do that from more than one source. Um, two sources or three sources. I can't tell you how many times we've heard, well, we, we, we provided this agreement to a, a benchmarking resource and they couldn't benchmark. And they bring it to VI and we're like, oh yeah, we've got benchmarking data. In fact, that happened just last week. Um, so you might need more than one benchmarking resource. Uh, number four and five are really key. Um, it's educating supply chain or some other the areas of the hospital about these agreements. These purchase services agreements are so nuanced and they're throughout the hospital. And sometimes we don't understand uh, the complexity or the, or, the, or the outsourcing requirements for let's say agreements in revenue cycle or in IT. So it's really educating supply chain or operations or people in other departments that are part of the negotiation about the agreements. And, and this way they build that internal knowledge within the hospital and that knowledge will help in the negotiation. And number five is those agreements that sit in the department. Sometimes the departments don't wanna let them go, right? Their agreements because they're their outsourced providers to support their work but we really need to align and open those agreements up so that those supply chain or finance or analytics um, can now help and support the department, not in a punitive way, but in a way that really pushes that agreement to best pricing, best terms. But we've got to open up those agreements in the departments. And you know, if you've got any questions about these five areas, please reach out to me. You can reach out in the comments or you can reach out to me LinkedIn or email, but I would love to explore or support your, your goals at your hospital.